Good morning. Hope you're doing well this morning. Now, this past weekend, we celebrate Passover, where Jesus died and God raised him from the dead. And, uh, and the power that was at work then. right? But we also, that same power is in work in our lives today. That same power that raised Jesus from the dead uh, 2,000 years ago. That same power is alive in us and in our situations we are facing today. Now, 2,000 years ago, Jesus saved men. He saved mankind. But sometimes we need saving in our lives today. We are facing situations. We are facing things in our lives. We are standing in front of situations that we, in our, in our, in our own capacity, we cannot overcome this. We cannot see victory in this. But that same power, that same power that raised Jesus from the dead 2,000 years ago is alive in us. Now, Jesus saved us then, but He's also saving us now. Now we read in Acts 2 verse 21 where it says, Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Now what about the difficult thing that you are facing right now? Do you need saving in that? Do we need the Lord's hand in this situation? Do we need His saving grace in this as well? For sure, for sure. That's why we can say, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. But let us, when we are facing difficult things in our lives, let's call on to His name. Because that same power that raised Jesus from the dead 2,000 years ago is alive in us and is also in the situation with us. And He wants to save us. Amen. Let's pray together. Father, thank you for your goodness. We thank you, Lord, for the, that what happened 2,000 years ago, that power that raised Jesus from the dead 2,000 years ago, that same power is alive in us and more so also in the situations that we are facing. And we honor you for that, for that power. And thank you, Lord, that we can call on your name and know that you will save us. And we honor you for that. In Jesus' name, amen.